the dogma of the Immaculate Conception is that Mary, from the first moment of her conception, was free of original sin. She's freed thereby of any need to overcome a deficiency in her will by which she would not habitually be open to choosing the good and choosing God. The origin of the feast, uh, sometimes called the Conception of Mary, sometimes called the Immaculate Conception of Mary, dates back uh, probably to the ninth century. When St. Thomas Aquinas came along in the 13th century, he held that by Immaculate Conception, those who were celebrating the feast meant that Mary received the singular privilege of being freed from original sin almost at the instant of her conception, but not from the very first instant of her conception. His concern was not to divorce the Blessed Virgin Mary from the rest of humanity, which needed and needs redemption by Jesus Christ. The Franciscans, led by one of their great theologians, Duns Scotus, used the expression that through the merits of Christ, even though Mary lived before, of course, Christ's passion and death, but through the merits of Christ, our Blessed Mother was preserved from sin right from the moment of her conception. And in the end, that is the version that won the day and found its way into the dogmatic formulation of Pope Pius IX. The night before Pius IX proclaimed the dogma of the Immaculate Conception, the Dominicans in Rome gathered together in the Basilica of Santa Maria Sopra Minerva to pray together that the Pope would not proceed with the dogmatic definition. The next day, the Pope did proceed with the dogmatic definition. The question, of course, is did they all immediately believe? Well, I think it's unrealistic to expect that they believed immediately. Nevertheless, they were bound to try to figure out how to harmonize the need that everybody, including the Virgin Mary, has of redemption by Jesus Christ with the text of the dogma. A dogma is a uh, proposition, that means a sentence or a couple of sentences which very pithily express a Catholic truth in such a fashion that that truth is not subject to being reformed or changed later on. Something like the Immaculate Conception means thought about whether she was conceived immaculately or uh, redeemed in a special way a little bit later on is over. 